At MedQuest College, we'd like to think we're a little different. We teach the way you learn. We work on your timeline. We focus on the important things. But most of all, we put you at the center of everything we do. In January of this year, 2021, I decided that I wanted to better myself um, and figure out what to do with my life. So when I began the process of finding a school and finding a program and figuring out what I wanted to do, it was really hard just because I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know where to go from here. Even as a kid, I was never like, I'm a funny person and I can always be funny, but I don't get along with everybody. That's sad to say it, but we, and we moved around a lot when we were younger, so I'm very, I want to say guarded. I don't really share a whole lot with everybody. I'm not gonna lie, I've had a lot of struggles in my life, but it's been, and it's not like everything just fell into place for me to be able to do this. Like I had to really decide what I was doing with my life and be like, it's time to get stuff together. When I first came to orientation here, Russell, the director, was like, if I'm on his, the line that's always stuck with me is he said, if I'm on the phone with the CEO and a student walks into my office, they know I'm going to hang up with them and take care of the student first. The students are the priority. And I was like, every school says students are the priority. Let's, let's put this to the test. All the professors, they, they answer, they text back, they help you, they extend deadlines if you need to, they help clarify things. That was nice because a lot of the, I've been to four different schools and they were all like, you couldn't get a professor to answer you if there was an emergency to happen like, and you missed a class, you just, you're, you're done, it doesn't matter. They're not about to help you catch back up. When I first got to this parking lot, you know, just an hour ago, I was going to puke all over myself. I was so nervous for this final. Went in, tried to keep, you know, keep cool, calm and collected. So that's two finals done. Um, the last one I got 95, this one I got uh, 90 something, it's a B. So, you know, I, I passed the class, woohoo! Moving on into the third quarter, I don't even know what where we are anymore. Today we started our third quarter and a fourth. We're almost done. I'm not really nervous, I'm kind of actually excited. Like I, I like to think that I get to be certified to do the important things in an office just be a motivational speaker for a minute don't don't ever give up on yourself guys and always show up for yourself no one will ever have your back like you do this is day two of week three for clinicals and I'm, I'm excited for my future even though i'm upset that this chapter is closing or you know we're in the, the ending of this chapter not even really bro we got seven weeks to go i'm just an emotional mess so I wanted to make one last video since I'm officially graduated and I decided that I'm going to become a nurse practitioner within the next four years. So, and I graduated with A's and one B. I mean, everything else was all A's. So hopefully when I do graduate and I get to walk that stage, I get one of those pretty little ropes for having good grades because I tried so hard. But um, I guess the next time you'll see me will be when I graduate. Our medical assisting most outstanding student is Jamalyn Grubb. I'm a medical assistant. Today means I'm one step closer to being a nurse practitioner. Like I, you know, have stuck with. Still haven't decided my exact specialty, but I'm there. Without MedQuest, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now, for sure. I don't want to stop at an RMA. I don't want to stay a medical assistant for 30 years. I, ha I want to move up. I want to wear a white you know, lab coat like everybody else with my name on the pocket. I, I want more.